Now, the third East Africa Community Retreat on Infrastructure Development and Financing has approved the 10-year investment strategy for infrastructure projects. Deputy President William Ruto chaired the meeting on behalf of President Uhuru Kenyatta. 72 regional projects have been identified for implementation at an estimated cost of 100 billion US dollars in the next 10 years. Partner states have been tasked with mobilizing 500 million US dollars within three years to jumpstart the projects. The regional infrastructural projects are part of the bigger African continental vision to modernize the infrastructure. They're also meant to place the sub-region at a vantage point with the entry of the tripartite Grand Free Trade Area. Some of the priority projects identified include construction of regional standard railway lines. Our region competitive. To be able to make our region the region that investors would give priority, we must put in place the necessary infrastructure that will facilitate the growth that we are talking about in our continent. Presidents are listening to political advisors more than they are listening to technical advisors. When I look at East Africa today, I see more the micro stages of not keeping our word. I see the troubles a Rwandese importer of biscuits from Kampala goes through in Gatuna, debulking his biscuits to see whether they are actually Ugandan biscuits or not. I see the disruption of Ugandan exports of sugar to Kenya. I see the inhibition of Tanzanian maize entering Kenya through his Benia. Every one of those practices, and they are all real, every one of them, breaches the word and spirit of his African community.